Okay, hello, here we go. Today I'm going to explain um, how the notes of an E string go in order. So the first string, the thicker string, as you look at your guitar, is an E. So we go F. F sharp. G. A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, and E. So number 12, so it goes, I'm playing on a classical guitar here, but um, it'll be an electric guitar, acoustic guitar, any guitar will go in, in, uh, in 12s. So I'll do that again. So that's E is the open one, so zero. And then we have number one is the F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, and E. Now, um, some of the uh, notes, the sharps and the flats, can have uh, two names. So for example, uh, number two there, that's an F sharp, because there's the F, it's one up from F, F sharp. Some people could also call it, and depending on the music you were playing in, it could be G flat. There's the G, it's just before the G. So F sharp or G flat. Similarly here, I call this A flat, it could also be G sharp. There's the G, so above the G, G sharp. Okay. B flat, sorry that's the A, uh, B flat could also be A sharp, that's B, there's nothing between B and C, C sharp could also be D flat, and the same with the last one which would be E flat could also be D sharp. Um, so if, if you stick to my one it's easier, <laughs> F F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, and E on the 12th fret. Now, if I play a power chord, a two finger power chord, so I put my first finger on, in this instance, on the F, and my next finger is going to go onto the A string onto that note there. Well, that happens to be a C note, but it's the, it's it's one and over, if you can see from that, that angle there. So I've got my index finger is on the first string. I go on to the next string. In this instance, I'm using my little finger. You might want to use your third finger. I find it easier to use my little finger. So I'm pressing number one there and number three there. Now that shape is always the same. So whichever one I start on, so that's the F, that would be F5, F sharp 5, G5, A flat 5, A5, etc. All the way up. And that gives me the, the fifth sound. It sounds, it's not very pretty, it's very edgy, very rocky when I play it. I'm only hitting two strings. I'm only hitting the, the, the E and the A. Of course, I'm holding down just those two strings. Okay, so, and so if a piece of music was, say, um, G5 to F5, I'd be playing the G note down to the F note, and I'd obviously have to play then the corresponding diagonal one so I'd have G5 F5 okay so practice that one 